Okay, you know, today is date day, and I usually don't get up and have a cup of co coffee right away because I'm gonna have coffee later, but this mama needs extra caffeine this morning, so I'm gonna do that. And I usually just have one cup of coffee a day, but I'm gonna break the rules today just because. So if you're listening to me, I want you to hear something loud and clear, something that I have been struggling with, something that I know that I'm not alone with. Um, I have all these voices in my head of defeat. You know, I have all these loud voices and uh, saying that I can't do this or nice try or I'm not good enough or you you insert blank, whatever that might look like for you. Um, I know we, uh, we all struggle with that. One thing that I know 100% certain is that those voices, those loud voices that we're trying to constantly shush away are evil. They are from Satan. And the quiet are from God. And very often what we need to do in order, in order to hear those quiet voices and uh, quiet down those loud voices that seem to reign is we need to be still and quiet ourselves. If we quiet ourselves, create space, allow God to talk to us, allow God to come into our lives, um, he will quiet those loud voices that you might be struggling with like I do. And again, I don't think that I'm alone in that struggle. And so I'm sharing that with you this morning to be an encouragement. If you have loud voices that are controlling you and the things that you do or that you don't do or the things that you try or don't try or that keep you trapped in fear or defeat, then no, they are not from him. They are from Satan. Those loud voices are always from the devil and the soft ones, the whispers are from God. So make sure you're quieting yourself to be able to hear those quiet voices, my friend. This morning, I'm having my coffee in my mug. It says, don't forget to be flossom this morning. You are full of flaws, my friend, and that's okay. That's okay. Guess what, Satan? I don't care if I'm not good enough. I don't care if I am not the right shape or size or look the right way or not put together or my house isn't put together, my bed's not made. I don't care because God made me flossom to be able to depend on him. And because I do that, I am made beautiful. And so have a flossing morning and stay encouraged.